Hi, Pam here from How To Pam. Today I'm making a handle for this uh, saw blade that I picked up for like 25 cents at a Goodwill store. And uh, it's a good blade, so all I'm going to have to do is make a handle for it. And I've got some plywood that was kicking around, and it's 3 8 so that way it's thin enough that I can use two pieces to make my handle, right? Because I'm going to want one side on each, so it'll give me a good sturdy grip. And uh, so what I did is I got my little hacksaw here and used this as a guide alongside with where the handle was on this. So I'm going to trace out the handle on the wood and I'm going to line up everything. And then that way, and I know it's going to last. I want to make sure it's not going to move on me though. So, and then I've got some uh, bolts and screws. And even if they are a little bit long, which mine are. Okay, so this is the handle. Not bad, huh? So now I'm going to cut it out with my jigsaw. But first, I have to get a hole in there. So I'm going to drill a hole because my little jigsaw blade, as you can see, wouldn't go in there like that. So So I've got the one hole and of course the turning radius for my blade isn't uh, big enough so I'm going to put some more holes in there to allow me to go all the way around. And don't put your... Okay, I just finished drilling my holes. This is Listerine. I was told that it works keeping mosquitoes away and it's not bad. It's a little refreshing too. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the holes drilled as you can see. Now I'm going to... Oh. Okay, so I've got my handle there and now I'm just going to start cutting out and the trick is you don't want to force your jigsaw let it do the cutting on itself you're just guiding it gently okay as you can see I have some rough edges I mean you know what can you do so I'm gonna soften it up grind it out and make it nice and round with my trusty little dremel here my little buddy Okay, so got it all smoothed up and rounded nicely. So what I'm going to do here is do the other side of my handle. And of course I want to make the most out of my scrap wood so that i got scrap for other things instead of wasting, you know what I mean? So, we'll go right as close as possible. Bada boom, bada bing. See? And now we're going to trace her out. Okay, so now I've got her traced out and I'm going to drill the hole so I can do my handle. And why am I doing the handle first, you might ask? Because if I didn't 
do my handle first, I'd be holding a piece of small wood like this, and it just seems safer this way, you know? And you want to be safe when you're working with power tools. Okay, all right. Here we go now. All right, so now I'm gonna cut her out completely. Okay, so I got my second one cut out, and as you can see, they're not identical. So I'm gonna take my Dremel and touch it up. Okay, so as you can see, they're not identical, but they're pretty good. Touch them up, smooth them up with my a little Dremel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare to put the handle on. So, now remember I had the saw lined up when I was making my handle, so I want to make sure it's going to be lined up again. See where it's marked? And you don't want the handle coming in on your, or the blade coming in on your handle grip. So once that's all lined up, then you're going to mark where you're going to put your screws. Okay, so now that I've got the holes drilled through, I put my other piece, line it up, and then I'm going to mark, go through. Instead of taking the chance and it not lining up properly, this way I'm guaranteed that they're going to line up, right? I put the screws in here so that it wouldn't move on me to line them up. Okay, so I'm trying to line it up. There we go. Okay. So I have these really long screws that I found in amongst the junk, and I'll just, you know, cut it off. Get it in there. Use what I can. Okay. Washers here. Put them on my trusty little bolts so that it for the so the You're kidding me, right? Mosquitoes go away. I don't like mosquitoes. Gotta be kidding me. There has to be a piece that's gonna fit. See these things come in handy. I never ever used one for a bike, but. Okay, oops, whistle, Cut them off. Okay, so as you can see, I got my screws cut off shorter. And as you can tell, of course, with scrap wood just lying around, it's not in the best shape. So what I'm going to do, I've got some uh, plastic wood, some wood filler, and uh, I'm going to fill it 
so that I can make it a more solid piece. And then with these screws, I'm going to screw it in here for more support so that it won't separate once it's together, once it's dried and everything. So not bad, eh, for a quarter. I mean, and if you don't mind doing stuff, you know, sure, it might not be pretty, but it works. Okay, so with it being old wood, of course, it's a little brittle, so, or the wood filler. And uh, now I've got some screws, and you see they're kind of big, so they may split my handle. So I'm going to draw, or <laughs> drill, some holes in there so that it doesn't split. All right. All right. So I've got my holes pre-drilled and now okay so as you can see we're almost finished so again I'm gonna finish screwing this in and then I'm gonna cut off over okay. and I don't know if I explained about the uh, screws going the opposite ways but that's to keep the tight instead of them all going the same way you know they can loosen this way it keeps it fairly tight and snug go there's my 25 cent saw how you like me now that's how you do it at how to Pam <laughs>